trying to adjust my camera guys <laughs> good morning how are you happy wednesday i'm darlene brown i'm an independent designer with chalk couture <laughs> oh my goodness sorry guys <laughs> i look up into the into my screen and it's like all crooked <laughs> how are you guys happy wednesday we're not doing what's of love um, this week. I do have some, something fun for next week. Next week, I will be quite busy with just getting done with my craft shows. Um, and then I'll be hopping right back into another one. But um, next week, I'm going to have a fun auction item that I brought back from Africa. But today, um, we're going to just do this project. <laughs> we're going to make our cute little stockings. How many of you are club members? Um, if you are a club member, just say club. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just want to know how many are and how many aren't. Because you know what? These are just so darn cute. If, you are, if you're a designer, you get this transfer too. The only way to get this cute transfer is if you're a club member or if you're a designer. Okay, so you'll automatically get this. If you're a member of the club, you get a transfer every month. And this is the cute one for November. <laughs> Sorry, need to I need to add some water. Can you believe it's November? I just still have a hard time believing it is November and we are like almost done with our year. Yeah, before we know it, it's gonna be New Year's, right? Christmas will be over. Okay, I needed to add just a little bit of water to that because it wasn't quite the right consistency. We're gonna do a variety of, of Christmas stockings. So we're gonna wash these transfers a couple of times. I, I just want to kind of do some fun stuff here. <coughs> We're going to have to um, paint them first, though. We'll paint them all white, and then we will um, do some fun things on them. <coughs> As Darlene coughs. Uh, yeah, I might need some more water. <laughs> How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. Let me put you up to myself, and we'll get started here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, if you're out there watching, just say hello. I cannot seem to get my comments up on here. Oh my heavens. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's not showing that I'm live, but I see you comments there. There we go. <laughs> Some mornings are just that way. It just takes a little bit longer to get connected. Oh my heavens. How is everybody? How was your day yesterday? Did you have a good day? We were so busy. Oh my goodness, we're like 99.9% .9 caught up on all of the orders, <laughs> which is crazy, except for things that might have come in yesterday, of course. So, um, yeah, just just crazy day. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we are. I'm like, it is not cooperating with me this morning. I am pushing buttons and it's not changing, but here we are. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I'm Darlene Brown. I'm an independent designer with Chocolate Tours. Sometimes I'm just a hot mess. And most mornings, I'm a hot mess. It's okay, because you know what? We just roll with it. We just go with it. If you're here for the first time, welcome. We're happy that you're here. And um, if you have questions, just pop them in there. We are we are all about answering the questions. If I don't get to it, if I don't see it, someone else will answer it for me, because that's the kind of people that we have in here. They're very helpful. Um, they will, they'll pop the answer in there probably before I even see the question. So how, how's everybody doing? It is Wednesday already. Yeah. Um, I have the option to set up for my craft show this afternoon or in the morning. I'm going to opt for tomorrow morning. <laughs> so tomorrow morning we'll have a short Facebook live so I can rush out the door and go up to set my craft show up. But I just decided, you know what? I don't want to do it today. <laughs> I don't have that much to do. It's a modified um craft show for me i'm only taking finished goods so it won't take me that long to put it out maybe two hours at the max instead of normally our setup is like eight to ten hours yeah that's it not tomorrow <laughs> it'll just be a couple hours just with me so okay we're gonna make these cute little stockings um if you're a club member i just want to kind of know um yeah if you're already clubbed yay can you wait can you just not wait to get this i'm so excited and i can't talk today <laughs> <laughs> hi Tammy, hi Deb, hi Julie, happy hump day sister, hi Tony, hi Sandy, good morning Karen West, hi Terry, hi Julie, hi Sandy and Laura, thanks for sprinkling, hi Denise, hi Cheryl, hi Karen Romanco, 
Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Debbie. You did these last night. They're so much fun. I know. I can't, you know, I have so many ideas. We really do. We have, we have a big idea with this. <laughs> it's coming. Um, <clears throat> we didn't have time to finish our sample yesterday. I really want to make sure it works before we do that, but we will be doing, we'll be doing them um, again soon. So we'll be making lots of things. We'll do some stuffies too. Some stuffies will be fun with this. <laughs> We're not going to do the cute little um, things sticking out of them. We're going to do just basic ones today. Okay, we're not going to use these other little pieces. We'll save these. There might have even been another piece. I'm famous for losing pieces, but well, um, we won't use this part. We're just going to do stockings. We're going to do different colors so that you can kind of see different color combinations. Um, hi, Marsha. Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, Laura. Oh, Clara. <laughs> I already said hi. Club. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Darlene Hunger. Welcome everybody. I can't talk today, but hey, welcome. Okay, let's paint these all white first. Let's get a base coat on them. That way, when we go to paint them, they they will not, um, you know, like sometimes the wood will just absorb it differently. You wanna put a base coat of paint on your wood or seal it. You can just seal it too, but um, we don't wanna do that. <laughs> We're going to do it the easy way. We're just going to paint it all white and then we can chalk whatever color we want on these and they're going to be so cute. And you know what? On the on the top part of this, we're not even going to have to chalk the cuff part because we'll paint them white and um, and then we will... Did I get all the pieces? Oh, they're there. I'm like, where are all my pieces at? We're just going to paint them white and then we're going to put shimmer on them. So honestly, we don't have to do the tops of this. Um, we're going to paint them white, um, but we don't have to chalk. We don't have to chalk on this. We'll do it shimmer. So, yeah. Do most of you have yours already? If you're a designer, do you have your club already? Because you can get your club transfer early by placing an order. Um, so, like, I just placed an order, so I will be getting my, my um, December one early. Anybody that is in that's a designer and if you purchased some of this some of the sales stuff yesterday oh my goodness yeah the sales are amazing aren't they great prices that's what i heard from everybody that they can't believe the prices oh my gosh and if you're a club member you get an additional 10 percent off on um i think on all the all the stuff that was on sale <laughs> <laughs> which is great who doesn't want an additional 10% off so if you're not a club member yet you might consider joining just for that um, when you join as a club member it is a three-month commitment so you join and then um, you do commit to being in the club for three months and then after that you can quit at any time so it's not like when you when you're a designer and you join, um, you have no time period. You can you can quit that at any point. Uh, being a designer, you um, pay $9.99 in the US and it's free in Canada. To become a club member, it is $21.99 um, in the US. I always mess this up, $27.99 in Canada. Karen, correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I can't remember all of the Canadian prices but um, shipping's free, so that's the nice thing about it is that you get you get um, shipping free on these guys. So you get a transfer in the mail, and if you're a club member, you get three chalk paste singles. If you are a designer, you don't get the chalk paste singles. You just get you just get the um, transfer because they know that we have all of our all of our colors. Okay, just getting my base coat on there. We're gonna dry this, and then we'll sand it really quickly, and we can chalk. You did your order yesterday, so you get December Club. Awesome. I'm Karen, or Laura says, need to get an order in for some surfaces. The house is on the deers. You need to do it soon. <laughs> Remember what happened with the pumpkins? They sold out really quickly. Um, so I think that I think that you probably need to need to do it um, fairly quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean that that's the point for them to have it on sale. They do want to clear their their inventory and it will happen. Things will sell out and we're going to be sad. <laughs> we're going to be sad when they're all gone. Hi Doris. Hi Janine. Hi Cindy. Yeah, I definitely um if you want something, don't wait, okay? So if you're waiting to to group everything together, you really don't want to do that because 
Oh gosh, that's how I missed out on, on some of the other stuff. <laughs> I missed out on the pumpkins. I totally, totally forgot to order pumpkins. Um, I actually have some left over, guys. And when I do the craft show this weekend, when I do the setup, I'll pull out all my pumpkins. And if you guys need some of the pumpkins, I do have a few sets that didn't sell at the last show. So I'll try to find those. <laughs> They're deep within my trailer right now. So there's no digging it out. I would just make a mess. Okay, so these stockings are so cute. Okay, my club members, um, your little gift. I am working on your gift. It is going to go out either today or tomorrow. So excited. And you will love it. So the, these, um, these will not be in a kit in the VIP group because... I can't sell the transfer, so this is just going to be available um, from Etsy. I did put a link up above to the Etsy store. I'm able to do that now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's do our shimmer on here, and then we can let that dry. We can take these guys off. So cute. So, so cute, guys. I'm excited to see the different combinations. I don't know, if, I don't know how it's going to look, but we're just going to do a few different colors. Um, you guys, yesterday... Um, I have an owie on my finger. Look at that. I need to put tea tree oil on it. I got, um, I was um, t putting out all of the, I'm sorry, I'm thinking, I'm trying to grab a paintbrush and think and talk at the same time. Um, I was putting out all of the signs for the craft show that I'm in charge of, the one for the preschool. I had the cutest little trees. I should have taken pictures. I created the tree on, um, well, we had some from a long time ago, but I created some in the laser and I painted them and I put all the information on them. So they're hand painted little trees that say um, craft fair and then it has the date and the time and it has the location. And so I had to go put those all out in the community. I think I had, I think I ended up with 18 signs. Well, I, I stuck my finger on you know those, those little um, sticker things that we call them like pump, the puncher, the punk, puncher weed things, the little thorns. Okay, so I reached down to, I, I had dropped a zip tie. I reached down to grab the zip tie and I stuck one of those right into my finger. I think there's like a little tiny piece of that stuck in there. So I kind of tried to do surgery last night by getting it, trying to get it to bleed a little bit and open up and it wouldn't do it. So I kind of get out the tea tree oil. I usually just put tea tree oil. I just have a little owie today. Just a little owie right there. Not fun. <laughs> Never a fun thing. Okay. Um, let's. Okay. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't want you to miss out. If you really want something bad, I do have extras of some things, but but, um, you know, the one that the candy cane one, the candy cane one looks really cute. So I got some, um, I, I love the candy cane transfer and I sold all of them last year and people were fighting over them. So I, I did get, I got 20 of them so that I'll have them for my customers because, okay, let's do, let's do two and two. We're going to do, we're going to do some retro colors on these and we're going to do like opposite colors. Okay. If that makes sense. So we'll do... How do we want to do this? Okay, so if we do the background, um, we want to do the background, we'll do the background in red on that one, we'll do the background in teal. Okay, we're gonna have to wash in between because like I said, we're gonna do different ones so you can see different color combinations. Okay, so we're gonna wash our transfers twice. All right, yeah, it's, <laughs> they wash up pretty quickly, but that's okay. All right, so just lay your transfer out onto your little stocking. Um, plantain leaf will pull the, okay. I don't have any, I don't know what that is. Plantain leaf. Hi, Vicki. How are you? Hi, Margarita. Happy Wednesday. I'm not sure what that is. Um, tea tree oil is usually pretty good about that too. Um, it's just, I think there's like a little piece of the thorn in there is my guess. <laughs> yeah, I hate those little things. When, when we were kids, we had them, um, at our house in Idaho in the in the grass. You really did not want to go barefoot in our grass because we had those little stupid little weeds and you would get it stuck in your feet and it was never never fun. <laughs> never ever fun to do that. Um, and you couldn't get rid of them. I don't know what they're called but um, stupid little thorns. 
Okay, I don't care if I get any of this up there because we're gonna glue that little top on there. So all of these will have the tops with the shimmer glued onto them. So that part will all be the same. Make sure you got everything. Don't just rip it off like a Band-Aid. Oh, that's weird there. It's not wanting to go through. <laughs> it could be the screen part. It could just be that there was a little clump of the red. I'm not going to worry too much about it. You know, I, you know what I can do? I can go like this and then I will, I'll just put some there and then I'll go back over it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm okay if it's a little rustic. We're gonna wash this. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a lot of washing today. So if you are new on here and you always wonder, can you reuse these? Yes, you can use them over and over, and we're gonna do that today. So you're probably gonna get a little bored at that. I should have brought in a little basin of water because that would have been easier. Because <laughs> I'm just gonna be spraying these to wash these. So we're just going to we're just gonna do that. Let's move that up. And I'll move my little squeegees. We'll pull this up. So we have one teal, one red, and then we're gonna chalk it in the opposite colors, okay? So let's move this over here. A thistle weed. Yes, they're terrible, aren't they? Yeah, that's what I have in my finger. <laughs> it's one of those little things. Hi, Carrie, how are you? We're just doing um, some cute little stockings today. So these are available um, in the Etsy. They're actually there already in the Etsy store. If you click on that link above, it should take you to it. I'm not 100% sure. I was trying to take you directly to the product, um, but sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. I Let me know if it doesn't work at the very top. It should take you right into Etsy. And we're allowed to do that now. I'm so happy, so happy. <laughs> Some people might be going, why is she putting her link there? Because they let us. Because they let us now. So I'm going to, and I'm going to make it easy for you guys to shop um, if you need those parts. Okay, so if you need the little cutouts because you don't have anything to put this on, you can get the little cutouts. Or you can chalk right onto paper. You can chalk onto foam. You can do this onto fabric. Um, I'm gonna probably spray that one more time to make sure we got everything off of this. And then we'll dry this and have it be um, waiting for the next one. Okay, so we are gonna we are gonna be chalking and peeling and, and drying and all of that. Okay, so we're gonna we're you're gonna see this process a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't have another transfer. Usually I wouldn't make you sit through this because I would have a second transfer. I I am a club member of my own, which means I'll get another one, but that doesn't come out until everybody else gets their club. So um, if you're a designer and you want to have an extra, you can become your own club member. Okay, so you can do that. You can become <laughs> your own club member and um, you just have to sign up with another email. That's all. And it's okay. Um, Chalk, Chalk doesn't care. They're fine with that. They are a-okay with you doing that. Or you can sign up um, under your hobby or whatever you want to do. Um, let me see what it says. You painted yours and then stuck, stuck your fingers. In. Oh, no. Well, you have stinging nettle in your backyard and you can't seem to get rid of that. That is terrible. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That is not fun. Um, hi, Chris. How are you? Oh, Cheryl, thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> I appreciate that. I wanted to make sure that it, that it did go directly to the link. Okay, all right, okay, so let's, um, let's go ahead and dry this. The red was a little rustic, it's okay. Rustic is fine with me. In fact, we might ink the edges. We can definitely ink the edges. I have my ink pad out here. I have my little dauber thing, but we would ink it after this. So I think these are gonna look really cute on a tree. And if you want to just do this part white, you can, but I think what we want to do is we want to do the opposite colors. You can also go through and tediously do each line a different color so that um, I saw one that was really cute. We'll do this another time though. We'll do it on, a, on another project. Um, they actually did, the trees were green, the snowflakes were white, the hearts were red. They went through each line and did it. Okay, I think that's close. <laughs> So we'll have to wash these two each time, but I just want to show you different color combinations so that um, maybe one will be for you. One of my friends did gray and um, gray and dune yesterday, and it looks super cute, super cute. Okay, gonna put um, my my teal on here. 
So we're just doing retro colors. <clears throat> Grab my squeegee that I had and you're just gonna cover that. So this is our chalk paste that is formulated, especially for our transfers. It goes right through that silk screen. And it also, it is water soluble. So you can wash it off of a chalkboard. If you wanna do a cute little scene on a chalkboard, you can wash it off each season. Um, also, it, the cleanup is easy. And that's what I love too, is that you can clean these up and like, like I showed you just there. Oh, look at that, that is super cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, now I just need about 100 of these <laughs> for my craft show. How fun is that? I love that. Okay, let's do the, our red one and then we'll wash. We'll wash our transfer. So, and then we'll kind of decide which, which one color combination do we love the most. I'm thinking this is going to be my favorite, but as we go further on, it's hard to know because the shimmers might be really fun too. Um, yeah, there are so many different combinations. You could sit down and you could have children doing these if you had a bunch of transfers and you would get every combination under the sun. <laughs> okay, all right, there's our red. Let me get all my teal off of here. Don't want to waste it. You can use that for another project. Just peel it up slowly. Oh, look at that. Oh, it has a broken heart. <laughs> it has a broken heart. And I didn't get the butt of that. <coughs> I have got this weird dry cough going on. Okay, come on, dear. Let's get your booty. I don't know why it doesn't want to go through. <laughs> um, for some reason, it does not want to go through there. I don't know if my silk screen, I didn't get it clean. I guess we'll see the next time. Um, yep, I think it's just gonna, some of it is just that way. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, let's just try a little extra paste on there. <laughs> and then we'll clean, we'll clean this one really good. I wonder if I didn't get it clean enough last time. Um, yeah, it's not going all the way through, okay. All right, guys, here, this is what we'll do. We're, we're gonna clean it really good and then we'll lay it back down. Okay, so let's just do this one right now. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> I don't remember it doing that with our other project, but um, I wonder if I didn't get everything out of the soap screen. So let's just get it really clean and we'll actually lay this one back down on top of that and we'll make sure that we get everything, okay? So I'll actually, I'll use a Clorox wipe too. Um, the transfers can get clogged if you don't clean them really good. You can put this right into water. So I'm just cleaning it on my mat because I don't have a basin of water right here or a sink. So um, yeah, let's get this one clean too. But we're going to try it again because it's going to be better than that. <laughs> I'm going to be using a lot of, a lot of my wipes my or my paper towels Darlene doesn't know what to say today okay I'm gonna grab a wipe that was really weird I wonder if this transfer is clogged right there we did get it to work it worked perfectly before on the on the little thing that we made last month we made some stuff but that is really odd I know sometimes you can have an issue if you didn't clean it all the way we're gonna clean it one more time and let's grab a Clorox wipe and let's just wipe really good. Make sure you get all of this stuff out of the silk screen. And then we'll just, we'll dry that one and we'll just lay it down on top of it. I'll show you how to do that because, you know, once in a while you're going to have to do that and just lay it right back down. And we'll just see maybe there was something that was stuck in the silk screen. But I don't mind going over this with you guys. We still have, we still have more stockings to do. So we got to figure this out. We gotta figure out why is it doing that. I know, aren't they so so cute? I love the red one. We're gonna ink the edges. That one's rustic, but it's too rustic. <laughs> it needs to have more detail than that. Okay, let's get it all clean. Make sure we have everything out of there. We're gonna dry it on our towel. I am certain I'm gonna use these guys up <laughs> because they are so darn cute. You can use them over and over. Um, Corpus says like eight to 10 times, but I'm going to honestly use these until they just fall apart. And I have never had any of them fall apart. I have had my Buffalo plaid where it was, um, it has zero stick. Okay, so let's let's dry this. 
and we're gonna go over this. We'll dry it, and then we're gonna lay that transfer back down, and we'll go back over that, okay? So this is going to go onto here. That one's ready to go again. This one we're gonna use right away. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of washing and drying today. So, okay, yeah, it is ready to go, but let's dry that really quickly. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I know my, my red is getting to the end, but I don't think that is why. Okay, so dry, dry, dry. But you don't want it hot when you um, when you put that on. So I usually will just put my hand on it to take some of the heat away. Okay, let's line this up. Okay. Have you ever had to do this before? Where you had to line it up perfectly to get it um, back on there? That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to line it up perfectly so that... It is. Don't breathe, Darlene. <laughs> Don't breathe. I think that's probably good right there. Okay, let's let's have a take two. Okay, I didn't, um, you know, I think it's okay. I don't think it's the chalk paste. I think maybe I didn't um, have my, my screen clean. Let's try it again. Let's just do this. And I'm going to pray that it works, that it's not my silk screen, that I don't have to get a new one. If you ever have one that, that is clogged, like um, doesn't work for you from the very first, you can get a replacement. Okay, but this did work for me before. So I think that it is operator error. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, much better. So what I'm going to say is when you wash these, make sure you get everything. Okay, so I didn't panic. I, I just redid it, okay? That's perfect. Now let's wash it so we have it for the next thing. You're just gonna see me washing a lot today. You're gonna get, you're gonna understand how quickly you can use these again. So if you had people over and you were doing a little project, you don't have to have two dozen transfers. For every three people, you probably should have a transfer unless you have multiple transfers and you're just using, doing multiple things. If you're all doing the same project, um, for every three people, you can get away with just having one transfer. If you want to have a class, um, if you're a designer and you want to teach a class, that is always what I suggest, is for every three people to have a transfer unless you're doing like a couple of different projects and you can rotate through. Cause see how quickly this is? You guys, it doesn't take long to get it clean. I'm gonna make sure I really clean that though. Make sure everything is clean because you saw what happened. That is what happens when it is um, clogged. Hi Jill, how are you? Have a time to catch up and get some Christmas kits. Yes, there are some. There are still some left. Hi Billy, how are you? So last night I tried to get to everything. <laughs> I didn't get to, I owe some people um, invoices. I owe some people messages back. I didn't get to every single thing. I'm sorry. I will though. I will though this morning. Okay, so next, let's do this. We're gonna do a color combination of these two because I just want to see what it looks like. Okay, um, I think it's an interesting combination <laughs> and I just wanna see how it looks. I, I love I love the slate rose. I think this is slate rose and this is forest. Okay, and that was candy apple and that's teal. Then we have our shimmer crimson, our shimmer olive. So I just want to see what they look like done like this, and then you guys will have some ideas. Now you could do them all the same. Um, my my friend um, she did hers last night with gray and then chalked them in um, in dune and made made a garland. You can do that. I want to have them separate. I'm going to actually take these to my craft show and hang them on my tree so that I have a bunch of other things. Where's some more, where's some more squeegees, Darlene? <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna hang these on my little Christmas tree that I take and they'll be really cute. So th this craft show is only finished goods. I can't take, um, cannot take chocolate product as far as the transfers. I can just take um, finished goods. Ooh, that's a great color. That's a really good color. Okay, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna put it on the back of the sheet because we're gonna wash it. Let me just move that. This moved a little bit on me. I wanted a little bit better than that. 
<laughs> if you guys have questions, just pop them in there. So, so these will be available. They're already there um, in the Etsy store. I put the link up at the top. And I can't make a kit with these because um, I can't sell the transfer to you by itself. And when you do a kit, you have to have all the components of um, to make it like the transfer and the surface and chalk paste. So these these are available in the Etsy store. Um, there's six of them and it's five dollars for six, which I think is a good price. Um, that makes them less than a dollar a piece. There's something on the screen. Come on, Darlene. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it doing that to me? Okay, let's try it again. Let's put some more on there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, all right, so let's wash these. So you're getting used to me washing them. This is the last time I have to wash them. But um, yeah, so just spray them with water. If you're not by a sink, you can just spray them with water and wipe them. Oopsie, oopsie, did you see that? Look, ah, look it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try to fix that. Let's try to fix that. It landed right on there, I think. Or did that happen before? We're just gonna tap, tap, tap. Stay, my water bottle's getting empty, so it jumps. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of fun. I, I love creating. I love seeing the different col color combinations. And sometimes you go, ooh, I'm not so sure about that one. And then you do it and you go, I really like that. I really like that. Make sure you get all of that um, chalk paste out of the screen so that it's nice and clean for the next time. You don't want to leave any of that in there. Okay, so these are fairly easy to clean because they're so open. It's the small ones with the like tiny writing sometimes that stuff gets stuck in. I'm going to spray this one more time and then we'll dry this and it'll be ready for the next time. <laughs> yeah, so, so just if you are somewhere and you don't have a sink, you can just use a spray bottle. If you don't have a spray bottle, you can use Clorox wipes. If you are out and you have none of that, you can wash them when you get home. If you're using ink, you need to wash it right away. But if you're just using chalk paste, um, you can actually wash it later. It can dry on there. Is Slate Rose a new color? Yes, Slate Rose was from, um, I think it was from two, um, two releases ago it wasn't last time i think it was the time before i yeah i think it was released at the same time isn't it pretty i think it's really pretty okay i don't use it very often you can tell same with same with the um the forest so we have forest and we have our slate rose okay just gonna plop these back on here we'll be using them again in just a moment <laughs> and we'll and we'll do our shimmers next okay so there's that okay Let's dry this and then we will do, we'll do our pattern and we'll do the opposite. And then we're gonna glue on the little tops and we will put our strings on there. So I just have some little, the red and white string. In fact, we can probably glue, glue these on after we're done with these two so they can start to, to get um, set up so that it doesn't move around on us. Dry, dry, dry. You want it to be all the way dry. If you if you feel it and it's damp, it is not ready. Okay, <laughs> my surface is starting to lift up. Okay, um, I just stick my hand on it to get all the heat out, so that you don't you don't want to heat your transfer up. Okay, so this one I will be doing with my slate rose, and the other one I'll be doing with my forest. You could do different. You could do it with your shimmer. That would be really pretty. Um, Whatever you want to do. I mean, shimmer would be really pretty on these, right? But I kind of just want to see what the opposite colors look like. And um, we have some other things coming up. A really, really fun project. It's actually a big project with these. But um, Tara didn't get the sample made yet. <laughs> so, um, okay. Yeah, it's been around for a little while, but not, not super long. I... I just feel like it's only been around for like a short time. Okay, so getting my slate rose on here just like this, cause I haven't really used it. I actually just ordered, I just ordered some for my craft show because I think it's a great Christmas color. I think that, um, I think it's gonna look good with this. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. 
Oh, how cute is that? That looks really cute. Perfect. Perfect. Super cute. Okay, I'm just going to put this here. We do have to wash it one more time and then we'll be done with all our washing. So sorry you have to deal with that. If I had extra transfers, I would certainly um, grab it out and use it, but that is not the case. Okay, so if you're not a club member and you want this transfer, you can become a designer if you want um, for $9.99. Um, but you wouldn't get this transfer with that. You have to do the other thing. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in mind. We have to we have to remember that the first month when you do the $9.99, you don't get that transfer. Okay, so you have to... Um, yeah, it's kind of a weird thing because the $9.99 is only the access. That's cute. Look at that. Those are super cute. Okay, let's wash these. And then we're going to do our shimmer. Shimmer doesn't always turn out the way that you think it's going to. Sometimes shimmer needs um, two coats of color. Or two, not, or two times over it. You have to go over it twice sometimes. Sorry. Do I know what I'm saying? Maybe. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just been busy. You know, life has been busy. Um, I was getting the month end billing done for my, for my company that I do books for. It just takes a long time. Um, <laughs> some months, some months there's just more stuff to do. Some months. And this seems like one of them, the month end, the month end is still going on. <laughs> the month end is, is dragging into the first part of this month. I was busy. I was at craft shows. Um, I was busy doing other things and I didn't get everything done that I should have. Okay. So let's get the, let's get a Clorox wipe and get all that stuff off there. See how it stains sometimes? It's okay if it stains guys. Staining is not a bad thing. Okay. So some colors just stain a little bit more like reds and um, greens will stain. Sometimes your black will stain. These would be super cute in black and white. Can you, can you imagine a whole tree with just black and white of these? I think that would be adorable. But yeah, we're going to use our transfers till they don't stick anymore. And we're going <laughs> to, we're going to keep using them over and over and over to do lots of projects. And I am getting, I do have an extra one coming. Um, my daughter-in-law gets it and then um, hubby gets, gets my, gets a club too. <laughs> so we have that coming. Yay. Hi, Anita. How are you? Okay, let's try these. So we have it for the next one. Um, I'm going to dry these and I'm going to glue some of the, oh, you know what? We're going to dry them and then we're going to ink around them. That's what we're going to do. Um, we should, we should see how it looks on the first one. We'll do, we'll do the retro one and see how it looks. If we don't like what, how it looks, then we don't have to do it for any of the other. Make sure it's dry. The microfiber side is the side that's going to dry this. The the other side that is like the towel, this side here, that's the side that you fuzz with. Okay, I'm not fuzzing these guys because I've used them before. So I'm just, if you're, if it's brand new, you're going to fuzz it. Okay, so let's, let's dry these and we're going to ink them. And see how it looks. And I do have the shimmer, um, the tops that are shimmer. So I'll grab those. And I do know those are already dry because we already did that. Okay, so here's all of our tops. And honestly, I didn't know if they'd be dry, but they are. <laughs> so that's all of our shimmer tops from before. We'll just peel all those off. So we can um, we can ink around the edges and we can um, we can start gluing some stuff on before we do the last one. So I have my ink pad, but I also have this. This is going to be easier around some of these little tight curves. And if you want to just leave it like that, you can. I just kind of want it to be a little rustic. So I'm just inking around the edge. And that also takes um, takes away, the, see that white, the white border that was on there? That white border is now gone. So. Cute like that. Look at how cute that is. So basically, that's a good thing to um, just take. It just kind of takes away that white border that was around the edge of that. And um, now it is going to be like rustic color. <laughs> the, the ink pads are from Amazon. Um, I frequently will post it in there. This one is the um, Espresso Truffle. Okay, so there's that. Okay, let's do this. 
So I'm just using this little dauber. The little dauber thing is really nice. It has a little ink pad on the end of it. And I haven't posted that link. I'll see if I can find the link. I got it a long time ago. I haven't had to buy more. They come with a bazillion little um, felt pads that you swap out. When it's all icky, you just peel it off and you put a new one. How cute is that? These are going to be so stinking adorable. I am gonna ink around the, the white part, so just bear with me as I do this. Aren't these so cute? <laughs> Who doesn't love these? Oh my gosh, they are so fun. I would love a whole tree of just this type. I, I need to make more, okay? I need to sit down and make a couple dozen of these for my Christmas tree. And I need to just do a retro Christmas tree this year. Okay, let's do all around all of our little shimmer parts, our little cuff of our ornament. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. <laughs> the last one is going to be my red shimmer. Unless you think of another combination. Is there another color combination you want me to try? Because I, I'm very happy to grab colors out of the drawer if you want because red and green is traditional, but um, is there another color combination that you would rather see? Like, oh, guys, what about, um, how about um, Midnight, Midnight Shimmer and Silver? Why don't we do that? Um, shimmer, Midnight, and Silver would be really pretty. Should I do that instead of the red and the green? The red and the green, I'm sure you can envision that. But um, what do you think? Should I do Shimmer, Midnight, and Silver? That would be really pretty. I'm kind of thinking that I need to. I just want to keep going. I just want to go grab some more and just keep going. Shimmer, Midnight, yeah, Blue and, blue and Silver. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, um, let me just, let's just glue some of these on here so they can be drying. Okay, so I wasn't, I didn't have to be careful about the top because I'm just gluing these on here. Okay, yeah, instead of doing the red and the green, we will do blue and silver. Come on, glue. I need to just have this sitting here upside down. <laughs> yeah, so, so there's lots of different color combinations. I'm not doing a garland with these, um, so I figured that, you know what, we're just going to, I'm gonna show you many different ways to use them different with different colors. And that way, um, we're gonna hang these in a cute little tree. I have this, I have a little white tree right here I'm gonna show you. Um, and I'm gonna take them to my craft show. I'll probably have people go, can I get a couple more dozen of these? <laughs> I'll probably have to come home and make some more because um, they are just so darn cute. And, and the price on these, <coughs> excuse me, I would probably price these at $3.99. I think $3.99 each is not a bad price. $3.99 each. Okay, so let me find my, my shimmer silver. Uh, and my okay, so here's my blue. So I have my midnight and the and silver, where are you? Silver. Silver bells right there. Okay. Yeah, this will be really pretty. I don't have extra stir sticks. I honestly I'm so behind on stirring everything. I I mean on the not on stirring stuff. I'm so behind on washing stuff. Let me see if I have anything that I can use. Oh my gosh. You know what? Here's a blue from the other day. Imagine that. Okay, there's a blue from the other day. Let's just steal this one. We'll just wash this, wipe this in really quickly. I am terrible. I have had so many things going on. I think yeah, I think these will look really cute together. Navy and silver. Yes. Yeah. So we'll use these two together. That will be per oops. Oopsie, I can't, I was trying to stir it. See, look at me, can't take me anywhere. Okay, so there's my silver, trying to stir it. Let me fix my oopsie. And then our blue. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, so this is our last set. Our last set, and we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do shimmer midnight, and we're gonna do silver. I know, I love the, I love the midnight. So pretty. It's perfect for a lot of stuff, you know, for for the joy one and the they followed the star. I just I love it as a background color on um, little snowman things. Okay, so I want to do this one, uh, and there's something on there because I touched it. Evidently, 
Evidently, I'm having an issue, but there's some some silver on there. If I have to lift it up, I'll do that. Okay, now I need squeegees. <laughs> you can see my squeegee bin is getting really empty because I haven't washed things like I should. I've been really bad because as soon as I'm done here, the phone will start ringing and then I don't get back to it. So I have a lot of squeegees, a lot of transfers that need to be washed and just no time. Okay, I'm not worrying about the top because like I said before, the top part, um, you will be able to um, put, you'll put, the cuff will be on that. Okay, there's our, there's our, our blue. It's a little bit off, but we'll be inking it. So we're not gonna worry that it's off to the side. I'm gonna plop these over here. Okay, this one's silver. Now my silver is a little different texture. I don't know why. Um, I think I, com I combined an old one with a new one. And so my texture just feels a little bit different. So we'll see how this goes. I think it's gonna be really pretty though. I think these are gonna look really nice together. Okay. All right, so that's our shimmer silver. I am pressing fairly hard to get it through there. Scraping off the excess, put that back in your jar. And then we'll dry this so that we can, ooh yeah, those are gonna look great together, guys. I'm glad that we changed it. We just changed it up. So you're okay to do that. At any point, you can change your mind. <laughs> you can definitely change your mind. Okay, here we go. Gonna just dry it and holding it so it doesn't scoot around because it will start jumping. It does take longer to dry the shimmer, so I'm just going to give it a couple extra seconds on here. But then remember, you don't want it to be hot when you put your when you put your transfer down on it. You don't want it to be hot. Okay, so what I'll do is I will just put my hand on it. Your hand helps take the heat out. Okay, so your your hand will draw the heat out. Okay, um, if you put it down and it's hot, your stick the sticky part on here will kind of melt to it and you'll be really sad, you'll ruin your transfer. Okay, so get this lined up the best that you can. So today, basically, we're just doing sample stockings for you so that you can see different color combinations, okay? And I'll take all of these to the craft show and sell them. And um, I, know, I know they'll sell quickly. <laughs> Because they're just so cute and people say, how do you get that tiny detail? I'm like, it's a secret. It's a secret. Um, I, ca I can't, um, I can't really talk about it there. Okay, so I can't take Chocotour to that show. I'm only a finished goods person this time. So you really can't, um, what, on those type of shows, you're not supposed to be promoting Chocotour. I could, I could probably give them, have them call me. <laughs> I can send them to my website and say, here's some more stuff available. But um, yeah, it's there are certain rules, but the rules are starting to be eased up. I'm so happy about that. Oh, look at how cute. That is really cute. When it dries, you'll be able to see the detail better. Okay. And it might have been really cute with white. Okay. So, so um, we'll see if we should have used white when we do this because... Um, the silver, we'll see how the silver shows up once it's dry. Sometimes, sometimes color combinations don't work in both directions. Like if there's not enough contrast on that, but we'll see as we dry it. Sometimes the color will change when you dry it. It'll lighten up because it's kind of a dark. My silver is really dark. I've gotten silver before that's been light. Okay. So we have silver and midnight. It's going to peel that up. That was cute. Look how cute that is. Perfect. And it turned out perfectly. <laughs> so the very first time when we had to had to stop and wash it, you know, it just the silk screen was um, was clogged. Okay, putting all my squeegees that I use, putting them over here. My goal is to get those washed today. <laughs> you had to add water to your gold. Um, yeah, sometimes you have to. You know, you sometimes you think that you shouldn't have to do that, but um, there are times when you have to add some water to it. We're going to dry it so that we can ink the edges. Okay. Oh yeah. I think it, it, it looks really good in person. So I know it might not look that way 
to you and you know it's starting to bubble up don't hold your don't hold your heat gun on it for a long time just go back and forth very cute guys i don't know which one i love best i the, the retro ones are really cute they are all cute they are super cute. I think I'll take. I think I'm gonna take a poll today to see what what everybody likes best. Okay, so I'm gonna move stuff over here. Move my transfers out of the way. I'm done with them. I don't have to wash them anymore. These other little pieces will make will make something else with it another day. You know, washing assistant. I do. I do. Who wants to be my washing assistant? <laughs> I tell you what. I need. I need so much help. I need more help than that. <laughs> I need lots of help. Oh my goodness, guys. So these are available over in the Etsy store already. They're not going to be a kit in the VIP. I will post the picture though. I'll post the picture and I'll post the link over there. I'm going to put them on a cute little tree. Um, but I need about three dozen of them. Wouldn't that be fun to just have a whole tree of just these? Oopsie. I got a little carried away on my ink right there. Let me see if I can get some of that off. With I, I don't know if I can without messing up. I'm just going to lightly, I'm just lightly trying to get some of that off. Okay, let me take, I got a little bit too much. Okay. I'll just blend it in. That one's just, that one's just a little bit dark. So be careful what you're doing. I was trying to cover up all the white is what I was trying to do. But I got a little bit too far into it. Okay, looks good, looks good guys. This one needs just a little bit more because the white's kind of showing through right there. Okay, let's glue the top on and then we're done with these. Aren't these cute? So the ink that I use is this, it's Memento Lux. I'll put the links on there when I find the little dauber thing. These have a little felt thing on them. Very cute. I know, I need, I need an assistant for everything. <laughs> I do. Well, Tara, Tara and Taylor are really good at helping me with many, many things. Um, but I need more help. <laughs> I need more. I need like a second shift is what I need. Because they leave um, They leave to go get the kiddos from school. And they, they don't usually come back. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. But um, yesterday, I had to go and put the signs out. I could have used my helper. <laughs> I did not have my helper putting out my signs. Okay, so I'm just gluing this on here. These we just painted white and then we painted them with shimmer. We didn't even use the transfer because you don't have to. You can just paint it. And it was super easy. Okay, so um, these I probably won't put the little string on. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this this string really isn't going to go with that. We will use, we'll use the thin jute with that. Here's the thin jute. We'll use this with that one. Okay, so we'll use that. Um, I'm, I'm kind of rethinking this. <laughs> I'm kind of rethinking this, but, um, you know what? I think it'll be cute depending on what you, what colors you use. Okay. So I tied a knot in the end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that through the hole. You might have to use your stylus to get the hole open if you painted it shut. Okay. So... Um, it could, it could take a little second here uh -huh. <laughs> to get it through. I had it through and then I pulled it back. Okay, Darlene. There we go. Okay. So just get it through there. Open that up. If you need to use one of the little flossers, you can look how cute that is with that one. So, so these, I think I'm going to use the jute. Um, yeah, I might, I might go on and change the listing. <laughs> <laughs> to um, just all jute instead of this. I think jute will look really cute with these, but these look cute with the little with the little candy cane stripes on it. So it, it is a little bit difficult to get it through here. It's not that the hole needs to be bigger. It's just that um, sometimes when you have a double hole like that, okay, then I just pull that. Those are cute. Look at that. Super cute. Let's try. Let's try the jute. <laughs> Shimmer frost would be cute um, on the top. Yeah, it does have shimmer frost on them. So shimmer frost is on the, I use shimmer frost on the tops. Yeah. I did that when we first, um, when we very first started, um, when we painted it, I just painted it right onto there. Okay, so I'm going to do these and let's make sure that it works and goes through the hole. 
<laughs> and let's make sure that it looks the way that we want it to look. But I think the candy cane stripes with those two work out great. Um, I might rethink what I put on the, on the listing. I might change that on the Etsy one. Okay, so that, this is just thin jute that I get. I get it through uh, Amazon and it works really good for me. Okay, I don't know how long I want that to be. Probably shorter than what I did. <laughs> but we can always, you can always go back and you can um, redo that. Okay, I just pinch it in half and then I just push it through. Is it gonna go through? This is kind of, it's more, um, uh, it's stiffer. So, okay, look at that. So that looks really good with that. That's cute. Okay, let's just quickly do the rest. All right, guys. So if you want to get this transfer, like I said, the only way to get it is to be a designer or to be in the club. You can join the club. Um, it is night or twenty one ninety nine in the U.S. It did go up, um, but you get you get so many more benefits when you are in the club. You get the extra ten percent off um, on all the sale stuff. Look at that. Those are really cute. I am not even sure which ones I like best now. Okay, they're all looking really cute. You could use you could use little silver thread with this if you had, you know, some uh, something else like some type of a uh, cording would be cute. But we're just gonna use we're gonna use our jute. Fine. I just I wish I had like two dozen of these on a tree. Um, wouldn't that be cute to have a whole tree of just this? I don't think I have time to do that. But maybe that'll be a goal for one of my craft shows. That's way long. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to go in and I'll. Tr I'll do another knot and I'll trim it down because that is pretty long. That's pretty long. So I'm just bending it in half. I'm folding it in half and I'm pinching that. Okay. So I'm pinching it. I'm pushing it through the hole, and it is going through the hole pretty easily. You can kind of twist it if you have to to get it to go. If it's not going all the way, like that one was kind of. Um, separating so then just kind of twist your twist your jute and then you open it up open it up grab those tails there you go super cute guys which is your favorite which one do you like best did you like the the red and teal do you like the forest and the slate rose or do you like the shimmer midnight with silver which is your favorite i would love to know what your favorite is <laughs> yeah yeah definitely so debbie yeah the club the club you would definitely need to Definitely need to get in it if you're not in it yet. All right, I think I think my favorite is this one. But I love them all. I love them all. <laughs> okay, if you love this, just give me some hearts. The hearts are down here. Um, hearts, hearts tell Facebook that, hey, people love this. <laughs> retro is your favorite. I love the retro. I think it's super cute. <laughs> okay, let me put myself up in the corner. <laughs> and we will get this day going. My day, my day is just starting. There we go. There I am. Hi guys. <laughs> so I will be going into the next room and doing my bookkeeping job and getting the rest of the orders out. Like I said, we're 99.9% um, caught up on orders except for what came in yesterday and the girls are getting really good at just getting them out. So what happens is the PayPal stuff is my orders when you guys order from me. Those are mine that I that I deal with and I'm teaching them how to help me with all that stuff <laughs> because it gets to be a lot. The Etsy stuff, they handle all those orders and they get them out like that. <laughs> so if you notice, sometimes when you buy a kit, it might take a couple of days to ship. Um, but the Etsy stuff, the girls, the girls are like, my God, getting it right out. Okay, and sometimes it takes two days. I tell you what, so we got here, um, we got, we went in there Monday morning and turned on Etsy and there's like, I don't know, a ton. Like, like over, over almost 60 just cutout orders and then the wedding orders and the, and the picture frame orders and we have cutting boards that we do, just a ton, <laughs> a ton of orders and they, they're like getting them out like that. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. This was so much fun. I love, I love all of them. This is my favorite. I would love a tree with a whole bunch of different ones just to show people um, what they can do. I have this cute little tree, so I was going to show you. I was going to show you my little tree. Let me just do that really quick. I have this fun tree. Oops. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. See, I have this cute tree. Um, and it's and it's just a little short white tree that I'm gonna put some of these on. I think I need to do more. I think I need to do more. 
<laughs> all right guys well i'm gonna go i'll go from here i love you guys i love you guys <laughs> have a wonderful day i'll see you tomorrow bye